This by far is the simplest way of making rota lists in Excel. Let me show you how this is done. Let's say for example, the top portion of this spreadsheet here is something that you can distribute to all your employees. And the bottom portion could be located anywhere, maybe in a different workbook altogether. So this is how you start. Over here in cell B3, you're going to start off with a filter function. The first argument will be the shift name itself, all the way down. And then you're going to press F4 once to make both the row and the column fix, like this. And the second argument is your condition for your filter function. You're going to press open parenthesis and basically highlight Olivia's section here like this. Right now, I don't have anything in here. I'm going to fill this up with a little X. You can use the checkbox if you like, but for simplicity, I'm going to use a simple X to indicate that Olivia is assigned a particular shift. And basically press F4 twice like this to make the column fix, but the row variable. And then you're going to say equal to little x. Like I said, I'm going to use little x to indicate the shift that's assigned for Olivia. And close parenthesis like this. And the third argument is a value to display when the filter criteria is not met. I'm going to close parenthesis to close the filter. But you'll notice that as you apply Olivia a couple of shifts, maybe I'm going to apply Olivia shift 3, maybe shift 6, and maybe shift 9 and 10. You can see Olivia shift starts to go down this way. And it looks like it's overlapping with Liam, Sam, and Noah. To turn this table right side up, you're basically going to encapsulate the filter function with a transpose function like this. And then the whole table will shift horizontal. Now, if you assign maybe shift 4 to Olivia like this, you can see shift 4 get added on Olivia's row. Now, you can apply the same formula to the rest of the row, but you'll notice that, that anything that you assign to Olivia get updated to everyone else. But let's say, for example, in Sam, you assign him shift 8. It does not really work. The reason behind that is because the condition still pertains to Olivia. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to select that particular formula, press F2, and move this red bar or red box, which is the second argument on the filter function, to Liam and hit enter. And then you're going to do the same thing for Sam. Put your cursor here, press F2, and move the second argument to Sam. And I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of the employee. And now it's completed. Now just as a test, you can see that Sam is assigned shift 8. I'm going to assign Sam shift 5 with a small little x. You can see Sam's uh, rota list get updated. Now to do a quick test, I'm going to apply a couple of shifts to everyone like this. And you can see that it's working perfectly fine.